Hello my friends, Pastor Josh here and this is the weekly update for Redeeming Grace Church. It is August 1st, that's hard to believe, of 2022. School's about to start, fall schedule, all that. Uh, I have a number of things that I want to cover with you. In fact, I wrote them down uh, just to make sure that I covered them all. Uh, first of all, we just had a great vacation last week. It was short. I don't know that it was necessarily restful because it was a whole lot of kids and everything, but it was fun and we enjoyed unplugging and just doing some things we don't normally get to do. Uh, so thanks for praying for us. We're back. We were Enjoyed a great Sunday yesterday, really enjoyed just um, the last three weeks I haven't preached and I've just enjoyed being a person uh, in the service and enjoying and getting to kind of walk around and see things from different vantage points and evaluate our service and man, I'm just so grateful for our church and I'm grateful for guys like Scott and Justin who can bring the word capably to us and uh, I'm really grateful that uh, they've been willing to take uh, some of this, uh, the preaching load in July, and allow me to think down the road a little bit about what's going on here in the fall, as well as just take a little rest. So thank you guys. Uh, you mean a lot to me in many ways. Thanks for serving our church well by preaching. Uh, some things that uh, were exciting is that we had a, a number of guests that were with us yesterday, some who've been coming for a couple weeks. Uh, they're just, they get what we're doing. They want to join it. And so I have a membership interview actually today. I've got a couple other families that uh, that are really interested in joining us. They're just drawn to our community, our preaching, our style, our vision, mission, uh, all those things. And uh, and so pray for that as we have new families joining in our church and um, just pray for wisdom and guidance to bring them in well and for them to get what we're doing and be contributing members. Um, one thing... Um, that uh, really encouraged me yesterday is both the Lurches and the Updikes saw one of these families that's been checking us out the last couple of weeks and invited them to come to the ministry center, just a, an, an impromptu lunch, so to speak, just an invitation after church. And so they, uh, uh, Alicia came to me and said, hey, can we use the ministry center to have lunch with a new family? And I said, absolutely. Uh, here's a key. Here you go. <laughs> and so they went and grabbed some pizza, some stuff from Walmart, and then uh, they had uh, a lunch here with some new folks. So thank you for doing that. That's exactly what we're going for. Um, it doesn't always have to be me. In fact, often it's better if it's not me. Uh, our family would have joined them, but uh, they were just fine in the, in the hands of our members. And so that is such a joy for me when ministry just pops up and, uh, and people just take initiative. They feel equipped to go ahead and do those kinds of things. And uh, I would love for that to be something that's regular. I have a plan. Uh, here in the fall for our home groups to regularly host a lunch here at the ministry center after church to do exactly that, to kind of pull people in and give them a taste of our church, get them a, a taste of a home group. And uh, and so look for that coming out as we sort of nail down exactly how we're going to do that and the rotation on that. And uh, uh, But I think that will be really sweet. And we've already got people doing that. So I'm encouraged by that when ministry just happens because it, it bubbles up from the, uh, from the members. So uh, maybe that's an idea that you might have, you might steal, uh, is to take their idea and grab a family, uh, whether they're new or existing, uh, already attending our church, uh, and come to the ministry center and just enjoy, uh, this spot. So, um, love that. Thank you for doing that. Uh, encouraged by that. Uh, I will be back in the pulpit this Sunday. I'll be preaching. It's actually gonna be my birthday on this, on Sunday. So I'll preach uh, a sweet passage uh, from Matthew chapter 7, where Jesus invites us to ask, seek, and knock. And uh, what a sweet passage. As we go through the heaviness of the Sermon on the Mount, and it feels like such a burden, such a weight, such a high calling, uh, Jesus is beginning to end his sermon, and he gives us this sweet invitation to just ask me, and I'll help you. Seek, and I'll help you find it. Knock on those doors that seem like they're barriers to you, and I'll open them to you. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a really sweet and encouraging uh, message and time in the Word this Sunday. And as we hit the downhill stretch on the Sermon on the Mount, we'll be going right into James this fall. So let me just talk a little bit about the fall stuff. Uh, we're going to do a long, slow series through the book of James. It'll be so different from Genesis in that Genesis, we were doing big chunks of scripture at once. Here, we're just going to do a couple verses at a time and really chew on them, really try to digest them and work them out together. Uh, the plan is for me to bring back the Q&A time at the end of the service uh, we've got some other things that I'm going to work with um, our elder candidates and some of the guys that preach regularly, uh, and we're going to really put together a good plan for our Sunday mornings to be really robust and meaningful, yet accessible and practical. Practical. So pray for the James series. We're going to call it Living Faith, and that'll be starting 
September 11th uh, that we'll be wrapping up. We'll go from Sermon on the Mount right into James, and you'll see that there's a continuity. James is really just pulling on so many of the things that Jesus taught in the Sermon on the Mount. So that'll be good. Uh, also, our life classes, uh, growth classes, I should say, our growth classes will start on September 11th as well. And I have uh, put out there to at our last family meeting uh, a discipleship pathway, basically a four-year plan to go through a rotation of various classes that are going to be, I don't know, six to eight weeks, some of them a little longer, some shorter, just to walk people through the essentials of discipleship in the Christian life. Um, we've been, I've been pulling from that list, uh, but I haven't shown you the plan. And so I, I just want you to know that there is a discipleship pathway. We're going to kick off this first one with Christianity Explained. It's going to be a study of the book of Mark um, and basically how to share the gospel from the book of Mark. It's called Christianity Explained. Scott's going to lead that. Uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, we're going to get an opportunity for him to, to grow in teaching and for us to experience and benefit from his teaching. I've got material that I've used before. And so I would love for everyone in our church, members and attenders, to plan on being part of our 915 classes and go through this discipleship pathway because over the course of the four years and the, all the different classes, they build on each other. And so the ability to understand the gospel from the gospel of Mark and be able to share that effectively is the perfect place to start their discipleship pathway with the gospel from the gospels how to know it and share it well and so that is going to be such an important stone in the foundation of our discipleship so i would encourage you to consider making sunday mornings at 9 15 a huge priority for us to walk through those that discipleship pathway together and that will start september 19th our home groups as always are going to be happening scott and jessica martin are going to start a new one uh, so you can find out information on our website. Also, Tuesday, uh, early morning men's study. I'm kicking that back off. Thanks for those of you that allowed me to take a little break from that and to focus on some other things, uh, particularly discipling some middle school students on Wednesday or uh, Tuesday afternoons. So to trade that time, invest in the middle schoolers has been really fruitful this summer. But I'm coming back to you guys, and uh, we're going to go through the shepherd leader at home. One of the emphasis that I want to make in this coming fall as we – uh, bring on new elders, Lord willing. I also want us to think well about shepherding. What does it look like to respond to the shepherding of elders? What does it look like for men to shepherd their families well at home? And uh, I'll admit that I don't do this near as well as I should or could. And so this is as much for me to read this book with you. But on Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. starting August 23rd, men, we're going to read through this. So whether you are married or not, whether you have kids or not, I think you'll benefit from this book. But it's uh, particularly, it says, knowing, leading, protecting, and providing for your family. So an emphasis on shepherding as we think about eldership and particularly every man shepherding well his home. Uh, so August 23rd, 6 a.m. right here at the Ministry Center, we'll walk through this book chapter by chapter and seek to encourage one another's growth in our shepherding of our families. So that's coming up. Women, I know the women that there's a number of women in our church that are looking to put together maybe a monthly gathering. Um, once I hear more about what exactly they want to do, uh, I'll, put, I'll pitch that to you. But there's some women's ministry things uh, brewing, and uh, I think will be brought to the surface and brought to your attention here soon. So ladies, pay attention to that. Also, in addition, uh, men's and women's retreats are now scheduled. Uh, there's a women's retreat scheduled for September. Let me get the dates right. September 16 and 17 at Cedar Canyon Camp. Uh, they're doing some sort of theme from Ecclesiastes uh, about trusting the Lord uh, or overcoming fear or something. Uh, Ecclesiastes can be a bit of a depressing book, so it'll be fun to see what they put together from that, but uh, I'm looking forward to what they uh, um, what their theme eventually lands on and, and how they're going to pitch that, but would encourage you to sign up for that. You can do that on the website, rgcrc.org. Click on events and you can do that. Um, also, men's retreat is scheduled for October, uh, I think it's 14th and 15th. Yep, 14th and 15th. Also at Cedar Canyon Camp, very similar to last year. Um, both elementary, kind of upper elementary, uh, fourth, fifth grade and on up uh, can come, both to the men's or the women's retreat. I think younger than that is going to be tough, but uh, older elementary, boys and girls, uh, on up through teenagers and adults can come to both the men's and the women's retreat. Men, our theme is going to come from 1 Timothy 2.8, where Paul says, I desire that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or quarreling. Uh, so the theme of our, our, our retreat will be men of prayer. 
what does it mean to be men of prayer? And so we're going to be real heavy on prayer. We're going to give some teaching, but we're going to devote a lot of time to prayer at that men's retreat and what that looks like. And particularly, not just that we should pray, but that we should lift up holy hands without anger or quarreling. So what does it look like to do so peaceably, encouragingly? Uh, what does that look like? And so that will be the emphasis of our men's retreat. Um, one thing that's, uh, that's still a need is teachers for uh, our 915 growth classes for kids. Uh, so if you are a member, you do have to be a member, pass a background check, go through our kids training um, and be approved and all that. But if you're if you fit those boxes or willing to do those things, we do need more people to help teach kids the Bible on Sunday mornings from 915 to 10 a.m. Um, right now, it's really thin there. It's hard to see how we're going to be able to pull that off. But uh, but we're committed to to having a discipleship and teaching time for our kids. Uh, that's age appropriate and uh, it sort of builds and prepares them for the adult classes. Um, so we, uh, we need some help there. So if you're a member or considering becoming a member, uh, we'd love to kind of check all those boxes, get you approved and, uh, and give you the resources and ability to help influence really a lifetime of following Jesus potentially. And so uh, pray for that. And if some of you would be willing to step up and help, that would be awesome. Okay, that's it. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, hopefully you paid attention. Luckily, this is recorded. You can go through it again. I'll, I'll emphasize these things again. Look at the email as well, and, uh, and you should have everything you need um, and to go ahead and sign up. You can always text me or email me if you want more information about these things. Uh, I love you. Thank you for all the ways that you are a part of this church. I'm really excited about the next chapter in the life of our church and all the good things that are coming this fall. And uh, I just pray that you are as well and will engage in all the ways. Uh, every single one of these things is designed to help you grow spiritually. And so we uh, hope that you'll take advantage of that. All right. Have a good week. Bye.